so, that's right, it is yet another video on inversions. Haha! -ha. Well, mainly I keep making them because I keep coming up with really, really bizarre things that you can do with them. Um, so, I've talked a little bit about, uh, in here, specifically after uh, I got back from Tahoe, about the idea of when you're doing a three-beat week, there are actually two cross points that each boy goes through in the course of creating this, right? That there's the one cross point that is directly in front of you that's pretty easy to see. But then whichever hand has the two beats on uh, the side of you, uh, it actually goes through a cross point as it's in the process of uh, essentially uh, doing that second beat. So for my left hand, it happened to be there, for example. Yeah, right there. Um, as I've been playing around with this, what I've been realizing is that you can find instances in which uh, those two cross points can be arranged in something other than kind of accordion style. That is, in a three-beat weave, they're arranged accordion style such that each of the planes expands out as though it were uh, a piece of paper that is folded only once over itself, right? Whereas when you do something like a buzzsaw weave, um, it's folded more like it's folded into thirds, where if you have a flat piece of paper and then you have, uh, say, your two folds, uh, we fold our cross points up like this rather than in kind of a Z formation like this, right? Okay, so what does that mean when it comes to doing some inside moves and the like? Well, essentially what it means is that we can, say, take a three beat weave and we know, for example, that um, we have that moment when we've got the accordion fold out, we can instead fold that plane back in. And actually, it's pretty easy to see what happens right there. This is a move that, you know, we're, we're really accustomed to already in an inside kind of place. But what if, say, we were to take it into a place where we were doing it in more of a vertical context, such that rather than arranging that uh, cross point that we're used to seeing out front of me, I arrange it up in which case I create something that looks almost like a Torre triangle relief in, in a funny kind of way. And it has that same property that I'm able to switch which hand is leading each time I go through it. And what's even cooler about this is that I can switch which hand is doing what. So for example, I can say that my right hand is going to do the triangle in a vertical kind of fashion such that you can actually see the profile of the triangle and my left hand here is going to do it in more of a horizontal fashion. So essentially all of the planes of my right hand now are um, oriented in such a way that the viewer should be able to see uh, the edge of the plane at all times. And my left hand now has all vertical planes, right? And as you can see, it results in a variant on a weave that looks really wonky, and that's because these two uh, plane bends no longer actually share uh, any cross points. They just happen to still arrange in such a fashion that you can overlap them with each other, right? Cool. So, how else can we get crazy with this stuff? Well, let's take a pentagram, for example. Um, I don't have a full 5 beat clean yet with a pentagram, but I can show you something that's kind of similar. Uh, namely, if we take an example of, say, doing a 3 beat weave on one side and 5 beat weave on the other side, I've created what's essentially more or less a, a 4 b weave, right? Uh, it looks a little asymmetric, but bear with me because the results are actually pretty cool. And as I'm performing this, um, one of the side effects of it is that um, I essentially have an extra degree of twist on one side and only a single degree of twist on the other side, right? Okay, so let's say I'm accordion out these uh, plates, just like I did with the previous one, in which case I can totally take this as almost like a pentagram where each of these cross points becomes kind of a skew from each other. I think it's something. Yeah. So, yeah, there's uh, even more Lotus Sea to come, so uh, keep on watching, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great week. Peace.